Hi everyone, and welcome back to my video. Hi. Um, so, I'm running late as per usual. I'm waiting for a taxi so we can bring our lovely item into work. It's a painting that I completely trashed. So, yeah. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen the video before this, I am doing a workshop in Form Site and I'm going to be performing with that painting. So, hey, I really hope my taxi gets here because I don't like being late, even though I always am late. So wish me luck for today and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Hey guys, so what a chaotic and amazing day. We've hit lunch. Today we have already learnt that we sometimes need other people to use objects. I'll explain a lot better later, but like at the moment we're learning how to use objects and to see them differently than we initially would think to use them. And it's really, really cool and I'm really enjoying myself. Hopefully like the next bit will be a bit more in depth about what we've learnt in the first half, so let you all know later. But then we had a guest artist come in and she's a sound art sound artist and her name is Olivia Fury and the clip before this would have been like her a little bit of her set but so cool like just unbelievable my brain was so stimulated the whole time definitely like a neurodivergent kind of like sound I loved it so cool I'm just I'm just in awe like I'm just so in all of her stuff I'm just like just so happy to be back in college and I feel like I I'm appreciating it way more now than I ever did before which might be the age but it might be also experience and not having this available to me before so oh, so good anyways I'm gonna join my booties and I'll catch up with you later to tell you how the rest of the day went Hello my lovelies, I'm back and I am absolutely exhausted. I didn't realise how like getting six to seven-ish hours of sleep every night was gonna be so taxing and then obviously like the walk an hour to and from college was gonna be so much but then the mental load of the workshop all worth it but oh my god i t i just but today was very very good um i'm just trying to remember what we did so yeah this morning we did an exercise where we picked up different people's objects so i had like a head scratcher thing and i basically just like walked with it and experimented with like the, the movement of it so i was like putting it on my hand letting it fall putting it on my elbow letting it fall I'm um, dropping it from a distance, I'm um, walking with it, balancing it on my hand, so like just a bit of movement with it. And then someone picked up my item, which is the painting. I actually, I actually forgot to bring it into a different room, so it might actually be locked or it's stolen tonight, but hopefully it doesn't. Uh, and hopefully I get it back tomorrow because I need it for our last day. We're doing presentations. So like sign it. But yeah, the painting, someone picked it up and they were like, like asking everyone in the class, like, why do I not like this painting? Like, why do I hate this painting? And then like everyone started to give like an their answers. And it was like, most of them were like, I don't know. And then some people were like, oh, it's the color. It's too black. It's too red. And then someone was like, you wish you could be a better painter. And then someone was like, you're envious. I was like, well, the painting was like giving off. And I was like, couldn't be more wrong. Could not be more wrong. Like that painting has been through stages, like years and stages of different colors. And when I decided to absolutely trash the shit out of that painting, it was for a goddamn reason. But everyone was like picking apart just the top layer, but they had no idea what the middle layers were. Or just, oh, it was just so weird, you know, for people to comment on like your work and you just can't say anything about it. It's so weird, so cruel. 
cool though. So it just like started opening up like every object had a new experience to it and your initial thought that you would do to the painting was never what someone else was gonna do. Never and never something that someone else was gonna gonna perceive because everyone's different and everyone sees things differently. So I thought that was so cool. So it was like kind of more teaching us like what the physicality of your object is, what can it offer you, what object is it, what can it drive you to, what does it make you feel? And then create from there. And then it was like sometimes it's not actually about the object. It's about the experience with the object that makes it something. And then that like new reality starts to emerge from the object. And quote by one of the um, tutors, like you are to be awake by the doing. Like you are awake to it, you are aware of it. By doing something, you are aware of it. She was also talking about to be brave and show your vulnerability, which I thought was really, really good because like that's exactly what I do with my art. I am 100% vulnerable and I use it almost as a crutch to express myself. So she talked about this artist and I did not get the name. I'm so annoyed I didn't get the name, but she talked about this artist like through ketchup and oil and like really gross things at something and then cleaned it up and then all of a sudden the artist started like crying and then I don't know if it was on purpose but someone from the audience came and like hugged the artist and I don't know why but I was just like I feel that that was like I don't know it just feels so nice like, even though it was a performance, obviously something happened and it was like real emotions and someone, or someone perceived it as a real emotion and someone just came up and gave them a hug. Like, oh, so cute. But I would really love to know who the artist was so I can <laughs> um, use it as research or something. It just sounds so cool. I just really want to see the interaction maybe. And then um, after lunch, we actually did like a 10 to 15 minute meditation and I fell asleep. Um, not gonna lie, I fell asleep. I honestly was half vivid, half not, but it was pretty fun. Like, I think they were trying to teach us that it's okay to just switch off and to not let your emotions control you. So meditation is a good way to do so. And then a guy in our class quoted this, um, quoted this thing. So basically it's a story where two monks are walking and they come across a stream and there's a woman at the stream that also needs to cross. One monk helped the woman cross the stream, like picked her up, brought her over, dropped her off and they went on their way. But the other monk wasn't happy because obviously monks being religious, he said, you're not allowed to touch women, that's against our religion. And then the other monk said, well, I touched her to help her and I left her there, but you seem to be carrying her with you, even though you weren't the one to touch her. And that is just so cool. Like, not cool, but like, that's so like eye-opening. Like people can carry something that someone else does even though you don't mean for it, that to happen. You know, even if that, the goodness of your own heart, you still can affect someone. But yeah, then we did another exercise, which basically was just showing everyone that we were evolving as we were going on. And then we were talking about our presentation. So I'm very excited for tomorrow. I'm gonna let you all know what I'm going to do. Um, maybe after I do this, oops, <laughs> see what happens. Um, but I'm very excited. But thank you all for watching. I hope you are all enjoying my workshop experience. And yeah. I'm very excited for tomorrow and I'm very sad it's going to be over, but yeah, I'm enjoying myself so far and I'm like so buzzed when I make more.